Could the floor of the Atlantic Ocean be hiding the seeds of Earth's next catastrophic rupture? Could an unseen wound beneath the waves, invisible to surface eyes, be preparing the stage for future earthquakes and tsunamis, with consequences stretching from Portugal to the far edges of the Atlantic Basin? These are no longer speculative questions whispered among theorists. They are conclusions backed by a new body of data that has startled the scientific community and forced a re-examination of how risk is assessed along Europe's western seaboard. What triggered this alarm was a confluence of high-resolution seismic imagery, computational modelling and deep ocean observation that when stitched together revealed the presence of a massive hidden structure beneath the horseshoe abyssal plain, about 200 kilometres southwest of continental Portugal. In this relatively flat and outwardly featureless swath of seafloor, scientists uncovered what appears to be a tectonic wound, a block of oceanic lithosphere slowly peeling apart, with its lower half already diving into the mantle. At first glance, this may sound like a slow geological process of little immediate consequence. After all, tectonic plates drift at rates comparable to fingernail growth. But history has taught Portugal and its neighbours that underestimating this ocean's quiet façade can be fatal. On November 1st of the year 1755, Lisbon was devastated by a quake of near magnitude 9 a cataclysm that unleashed towering waves and city-wide fires, reducing one of Europe's capitals to rubble and killing an estimated 40,000 people. Centuries later, in 1969, a magnitude 7.9 earthquake once again struck off Portugal's coast, leaving two dozen dead and reigniting questions about what lies beneath the Atlantic. Now, satellite-assisted imaging, seismic tomography and advanced modelling are providing answers. The data indicate that a segment of the Eurasian plate beneath the horseshoe abyssal plain is delaminating, a technical term meaning that the bottom portion of the plate has split from the upper layer and is sinking into Earth's mantle. According to João Duarte, a geologist at the University of Lisbon who led the investigation, the upper surface remains nearly flat and undisturbed, hiding the underlying process from standard ocean floor surveys. Yet the delamination is very real, with the lower section already having sunk at least 200 kilometres, a displacement equivalent to the distance between Lisbon and Porto. What makes this discovery unsettling is its location. Subduction, the process of one plate diving beneath another, usually occurs at well-known trenches like those skirting the Pacific's ring of fire. By contrast, the central and eastern Atlantic has long been viewed as relatively quiet, a zone of gradual spreading and slow convergence without the violent dynamics seen in other oceans. But the tomography data from land-based seismic stations across the Iberian Peninsula and North Africa, combined with recordings from two dozen ocean floor seismometers, told a different story. They revealed not only the high-velocity anomaly marking the sinking lithosphere, but also a swarm of tiny earthquakes occurring 30 to 40 kilometers deep evidence of stresses building within the crust. The mechanism behind this rupture centres on serpentinization, the hydration of mantle rocks as seawater infiltrates fractures. As the water chemically alters peridotite into serpentinite, the rock's mechanical properties change, weakening the bond between crust and mantle. Over millions of years, such hydration can enable the lower lithosphere to detach and sink. In this case, models suggest the process has been unfolding for at least five million years, slowly but inexorably setting the stage for what could evolve into a full-fledged subduction zone. If true, this would mark the beginning of a new tectonic chapter in the Atlantic, the birth of a mega-rift that could eventually consume entire stretches of oceanic crust. For Portugal, Spain and Morocco, the implications are immediate. While the delamination is deep and hidden, the seismicity it generates can propagate upward, translating into quakes capable of damaging coastal cities. Duarte and his colleagues stressed that existing hazard maps, which focus on known surface faults, may underestimate the risk if they ignore these deep processes. Chiara Chiviero, a seismologist from the University of Trieste and co-author of the study, warned that areas previously dismissed as low risk, like the abyssal plains of the Patalo or Horseshoe regions, 
could be capable of unleashing strong earthquakes despite their smooth surfaces. That warning carries historical weight. The Lisbon disaster of 1755 remains one of the most studied catastrophes in history. Not only for its human toll, but also for its philosophical consequences, it shook Enlightenment Europe's faith in a rational, orderly universe. Voltaire's Candide was born from its ashes, questioning whether a benevolent order truly governed human affairs. Scientists today, however, are less concerned with metaphysics than with physics. What combination of forces caused such an immense quake in an oceanic setting far from typical subduction zones? The delamination model now provides a plausible answer. A sinking lithospheric block could accumulate stresses over centuries before suddenly releasing them, producing quakes of devastating magnitude. Modern monitoring has only scratched the surface of these dynamics. Between 2007 and 2013, researchers gathered seismic data from 387 land stations in Iberia and North Africa, augmented by two dozen ocean-bottom seismometers. This dataset allowed them to build a three-dimensional model extending 800 kilometers into the mantle. By tracing how seismic waves from distant earthquakes bent and slowed through the Earth, the team mapped hidden structures that conventional seafloor mapping could never reveal. The image that emerged was startling, an anomalous block plunging northward, bounded by fracture zones that once isolated it from the rest of the plate. Simulations suggested these fractures eventually funneled stress into a major thrust fault, now the site of persistent micro-seismic activity. This discovery is not merely academic. A thrust fault capable of accommodating plate-scale stresses in the deep Atlantic could someday generate tsunamis racing toward Iberia, Morocco, or even across the wider ocean. Historical precedent exists. The 1755 tsunami reached as far as the Caribbean, with waves reportedly recorded in Barbados and Martinique. Should a comparable event occur today, the impact on densely populated coastal cities, critical ports and submarine infrastructure would be staggering. Indeed, infrastructure is an emerging concern. The 21st century has seen a new wave of submarine communication cables installed across the Atlantic, linking Europe, Africa and the Americas. Some of these cables thread through the Azores, Madeira and Ferradura regions, areas now implicated in the delamination process. While engineers design cables to withstand ordinary stresses, they remain vulnerable to large seismic events or seafloor landslides triggered by shaking. The same seabed that serves as a vital artery for global internet traffic may also be the frontier of a slow-motion tectonic revolution. The notion of a mega-rift forming beneath the Atlantic challenges long-held assumptions about plate tectonics. For decades, textbooks have taught that the Atlantic is primarily an ocean of spreading ridges, where new crust forms and pushes continents apart. Subduction, the necessary counterpart that recycles crust back into the mantle, has been confined to the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Yet here, off Portugal's coast, scientists may be witnessing the very birth of such a process in its earliest stages. The delamination of old cold lithosphere could be the embryonic form of subduction, one that, given millions more years, might evolve into a full trench system. For researchers, the excitement lies in the rarity of such a glimpse. Subduction zones are usually ancient and fully developed. Catching one at its inception is nearly impossible. If the horseshoe abyssal plain indeed harbours the world's newest tectonic wound, it represents a natural laboratory for understanding how plates evolve and why some oceans close while others widen. But for the populations living along Europe's Atlantic coast, the discovery is a warning. The very process that fascinates scientists could someday produce disasters rivaling Lisbon's great quake, with consequences for lives, economies, and even the stability of nations. If the delamination process continues, one of the great questions is how long it will take before surface expressions emerge. Scientists emphasize that tectonic evolution works on geological time, but that does not mean humans are safe from its shorter-term effects. The accumulation of stress along deep thrust faults does not require millions of years to manifest in dangerous earthquakes. 
The Lisbon event of 1755 and the 1969 quake demonstrate that sudden ruptures can occur in intervals of mere centuries, a blink in tectonic history but devastating for human societies. The role of water in this story cannot be overstated. Serpentinization may sound like an esoteric mineralogical process, but its implications are monumental. By altering mantle rocks into serpentinite, water acts as a lubricant, allowing the crust to detach from its foundation. In a sense, the Atlantic itself is undermining its own stability. The same ocean that nurtures marine life and moderates climate is seeping into its own bedrock, prying apart the very plate that defines its existence. Once the lower lithosphere has sunk, the remaining crust is left suspended, vulnerable to stresses it can no longer balance. In recent years, researchers have begun drawing parallels between this developing Atlantic system and other known subduction processes. For example, the Indian Ocean earthquake of 2004, which unleashed a tsunami that killed over 230,000 people across 14 countries, was generated by a megathrust rupture along the Sunda Trench. Similarly, the Tohoku earthquake of 2011 in Japan, with a magnitude of 9.1, produced a tsunami that overwhelmed coastal defences and triggered the Fukushima nuclear disaster. If the Horseshoe Abyssal Plain evolves into a comparable subduction zone, future generations may face megathrust quakes of similar scale. The challenge for seismologists is prediction. Earthquakes cannot yet be forecast with precision. The best science can do is identify zones of heightened risk and model plausible scenarios. What the new study underscores is that risk in the Atlantic has been systematically underestimated. Traditional hazard maps rely heavily on surface faults, visible scars where plates grind against each other. But as Duarte and Siviero's team demonstrated, some of the most dangerous processes are invisible, unfolding tens to hundreds of kilometres below. The delamination hypothesis demands a shift in perspective. Risk is not only where faults are mapped, but where hidden processes redistribute stress in ways humans cannot easily see. This reframing also has geopolitical and economic dimensions. Portugal, Spain and Morocco all maintain densely populated coastal zones with major urban centres, ports and tourism economies. Lisbon, with nearly three million people in its metropolitan region, remains as exposed today as it was in the 18th century. The Algarve, southern Spain's Costa del Sol, and Morocco's Atlantic coast host millions of residents and seasonal visitors. A future tsunami generated by a horseshoe plane rupture could devastate these coasts within minutes to hours, depending on wave propagation. Current warning systems, though improved since the Indian Ocean disaster, are still calibrated for better studied subduction zones. If the Atlantic is entering a new tectonic phase, those systems may require urgent adaptation. Adding urgency is the expansion of submarine infrastructure. The global economy now relies on thousands of kilometres of fibre-optic cables that carry over 90% of international data traffic. New generation lines, routed through the Azores, Madeira and the Ferradura Abyssal Plain, are designed to boost connectivity between Europe, Africa and the Americas. But those same cables now cross a zone where delamination and faulting could trigger quakes or seafloor landslides. A rupture could sever cables, isolating regions from the Internet, disrupting financial markets and crippling communications in the very moment emergency responses would be most needed. Scientific institutions are beginning to recognise the stakes. The installation of new seafloor monitoring systems, piggybacking on cable projects, offers a chance to expand seismic observation in real time. Integrated sensors could detect micro-seismic activity, pressure changes, or even chemical shifts that hint at serpentinization processes. By embedding science into infrastructure, the same systems that carry digital life could also serve as guardians against tectonic threats. Yet the broader lesson is sobering. Earth is far from static, and human civilization is building ever more densely on its shifting surface. The Atlantic, long considered a relatively placid ocean compared to the fiery Pacific, may be revealing its own potential for violence. If a mega-rift is truly being born beneath the horseshoe abyssal plain, 
then history may look back on these satellite and tomography studies as the first warnings humanity chose to heed or ignore. The ghost of 1755 still haunts Lisbon. In plazas and churches rebuilt after the catastrophe, stories of the quake, tsunami and fire remain woven into the city's identity. But memory fades over centuries, and modern skylines can lull societies into forgetting that beneath every foundation lies an unpredictable earth. Scientists are now urging governments not to repeat the mistake of underestimating the Atlantic. Duarte's warning was clear. Delamination should be factored into seismic hazard maps, or Portugal risks facing future disasters unprepared. As the models project deeper, the narrative grows more complex. Two fracture zones appear to have isolated a block of lithosphere that now sinks northward, dragging stress into a thrust fault that could rival some of the world's most notorious seismic structures. The process may have been unfolding for five million years, but in geological terms, that is a beginning, not an end. The Atlantic could be entering an epoch of contraction, its floor preparing to fold and recycle as the Pacific has long done. Whether this will take tens of millions of years or manifest in catastrophic bursts along the way is the question. For now, the scientific community continues to probe. More seafloor observatories, more computational models and more satellite data will refine the picture. But the essential insight has already landed. The Atlantic is not immune to the planet's deepest forces, and what lurks beneath Portugal's offshore plains could reshape not only geology but history. The investigative trail has led from faint tremors in the ocean floor to one of the most startling discoveries in modern geoscience, the potential birth of a mega-Atlantic rift. It is a discovery that links the distant past of Lisbon's devastation, the near future of coastal risk, and the long future of tectonic evolution. The Atlantic, once thought of as a spreading ocean, may be preparing to reverse course, beginning the slow journey towards subduction and closure. If there is a lesson in this revelation, it is one of vigilance. Humanity cannot prevent tectonic forces, but it can choose how to respond through science, preparedness and awareness. Ignoring the deep warning signs risks repeating tragedies that history has already recorded in blood and stone. And so the question returns. When the next rupture strikes beneath the horseshoe abyssal plain, will society be ready? Or will the waves and tremors catch us, as they did in 1755, unprepared and vulnerable? The evidence is mounting, the warnings are clear, and the choice belongs not to Earth but to us. If you found this deep dive investigative report valuable, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and tap that hype icon so this story can reach a wider audience. The more people understand the hidden forces beneath our oceans, the better prepared we all can be.